Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see some cool experiments using this high voltage generator module. And also we can see how uh, ion thruster engines work in the space rockets. Let's go into the video. Before going to the experiments, let me walk you through some of the safety measures while working with high voltages. Always use one hand while working with high voltage. This can avoid electric current passing through one hand to other hand through the heart, which can be fatal. Stand on the thick insulated material while working with high voltages. Keep safe distance from the current source. Even if you are not touching it, the high voltage current can pass by air. Do not touch the wires of high voltage modules even when it is powered off. Have a partner nearby who knows about the risk involved and how to act during the emergency. Do not conduct these experiments in a closed room. During ionization, the oxygen or O2 will split and join as O3 which is ozone. Ozone is not good for lungs. I've got two different modules for these experiments. The little one here is 400 kV and this big guy is 1000 kV. I'm not sure whether it gives the rated voltage but definitely the high voltage which is which can be fatal. Let's create the power supply first. This 400 kV module supports up to 6 volts. 1000 kV module up to 7.5 volt. So for this I'm going to use 12 volt 2 amp power supply and a step down DC to DC buck converter and, and the DC sockets. Let's test the power supply. I have kept 6 volt as output from this buck converter. This is sufficient enough to run both the modules. Just turned on the power supply. I'm getting a bad smell here that might be the ozone now we can check it with 1000 kV module Let's start our first experiment with ionic wind generator. Ionic wind is the basic working principle behind ion thrusters in the space rockets. So for this I have used the plywood, I have cut it in two pieces. So these are permanent magnets.
This setup is now complete. Let's test it. It works. So, what is Ionic Wind Generation and why is it so great? It's not just cars and bikes are being transformed into electric vehicles. Even the space travel meets this transformation. This setup is a simple illustration to show how the ion thrusters work. When a high voltage is supplied, the electricity will be transferred from emitter to collector by charging the air to create ions. The area where the air is ionized is called corona discharge. The ionized air is then attracted to the collector very rapidly. This rapid movement of air creates a wind by ionization is called the ionic wind. We can see a purplish beam of light here because the air in our atmosphere is excited by the electricity. The magnet rings here helps to enhance the ion flow. Every gas in our atmosphere will radiate in different color when it is excited. Our atmosphere consists of 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen and 1% of other gases. So this purplish blue color is because of the excited nitrogen, oxygen and other gases like hydrogen. This is the same principle behind the ion propulsion engines in the satellites and spaceships. In the ion propulsion engines, xenon gas is used as propellant to generate the thrust beam. This is the same gas used in the projector headlights of many vehicles. Xenon is an inert gas and works very efficiently in vacuum space. Ion propulsion is more compact, cheap and efficient than any chemical propulsion engine still now. However, the ion propulsion cannot escape Earth's gravity due to the ions already present in our atmosphere. I'm not getting into this in detail, but I'll try to explain it in a simple way. The xenon gas is used as a propellant which is passed through an inlet. At the same time, the electron gun will emit electrons to impact the xenon atoms to create ions. Then the ion is attracted by the positive and negative high voltage grid to accelerate the flow of ions. This way it generates the ion thrust beam to move the spaceship. The positive ions are neutralized by hot electron gun neutralizer to avoid the ions flowing back to the engine's power grid. Now let's move on to see our ionic wind generator in action. You can see the air around the emitter is attracted and ionized. The ionized air then moves into the collector tube and comes out as ionic wind. I have placed the smoke here for you to visualize the airflow. I couldn't perform many experiments as I have fried both the modules. My bad. Anyways, here are some more experiments done using this module while it was working fine. As you can see here, the electron flow is accelerated when the heat is applied. When tested with water, this is what I have seen. Beautiful, isn't it?
Hope this video is informative and you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more interesting contents. Thanks for watching.